it's 3.30 in the morning, and we're moving to Portugal today. And I actually think I might be too tired to be excited. <laughs> August 6th, 2009. Why is this date important? It's the day before I took this picture from a moving taxi on my way from the airport in La Paz, Bolivia to the city center. This was the first photo I ever took of my nomadic life. The day before, I left Canada. I've been spinning around this globe ever since. The longest I've stayed in one place for the 10 years, 10 months, and seven days I've been nomadic was either here in the UK during this lockdown or back in 2012 while I was stuck in Mali during the war when I was too broke to keep moving. But today, June 13th, 2020, is the day nomadic life ends. I'm not, I'm not like mad, sad, upset, worried, bothered, or anything about like the end of an era, the end of a nomadic era. This has been long overdue. In fact, like seven years ago, I wrote a blog post saying that I was ready to have a base. And then I thought Portugal would probably make a perfect base. So that's kind of what's happening. I'll explain a little bit more when we get to Lagos, which is where we're driving right now. And also on today's episode, there will be some photography from Lagos, but it's like a two and a half hour drive, so to the road. Welcome to Lagos, Portugal. <laughs> that was a super cheesy, but I don't even care. You can see the old town wall right here. Old town's there. The marina's there. The ocean's there, and I guess this is our new home. And Jody's here. Oh, Jody's here too. Yeah, this is our new home, but this is not our apartment. Uh, our apartment's still not ready. No, our apartment's ready, but the mortgage isn't, so the bankers aren't ready to give us money. And um, so we still need uh, like at least a week, probably two, to do that. Here in Portugal, there's no rules actually about needing to self isolate or quarantine upon arrival. But Jody and I are trying to be a little bit responsible and limiting our contact as much as we can. So we'll mostly be ordering food in, maybe doing one big grocery run and just really limiting contact for a week. But I will be getting out and taking pictures all week. I'm so excited. It's literally a 15 minute walk to Praia de Camilo, which is just this really cool location, just that way. So I think in the morning, we're gonna head there but I know that I'm exhausted right now and I'm gonna get some sleep. So I'll see you in the morning with some photography. How cool is this? It is five in the morning. I'm off for photography and I'm wearing shorts and flip flops. That's the way it's supposed to be. Uh, I'm heading to um, do some photography at a pretty popular beach, a really photogenic beach, a place called Praia do Camilo. It's like a 20 minute walk from here. Okay, here I am, a 20 minute walk, probably a little less, and I'm at my location. This is kind of the start of Ponta de Piaggi, which is like this point that leads off near Lagos, and it's full of photo locations. There's probably, I don't know, 20 different locations. They're all kind of similar, but they're all awesome. And this is one of the most popular ones. This is Praia do Camilo. I've never photographed it from the top, there is a really obvious photo, and it's so obvious, in fact, that the area above it is just totally trampled out from people standing up there and taking pictures. But I'm like not in a, like a frantic mood this morning. I don't feel like running around looking for something new. So I think I'm just gonna set my tripod up, up top, and shoot something simple down at this beautiful beach. The image I took the last time I was here, or the first time I was here, I guess, was right down on the boardwalks with the boardwalks leading down to the water. That can also be cool. But like I said, I think I'm just gonna take it easy today, set up up top, 
and enjoy the sunrise. Okay, I say this a lot um, because it's usually relevant, but just because a spot is the classic place to take a picture doesn't mean it's the best. So I've set up over here and I've never taken a picture from up here before. And I'm seeing now that it's not as good as actually just in the parking lot. And the reason is simple. It's because when you look down at the beach from this classic spot on the cliff, everything leads away. You have the walking trail, but it leads away from the view. And then the arch rock on the beach isn't totally open from here. You can't really tell that it's an arch rock. So I'm actually going to pack up my camera again and just move literally to the edge of the parking lot where I did that intro clip a second ago and, and shoot from there. And sometimes the better photos from the parking lot. It's just how it works sometimes. Definitely better just over here. You still have the path that leads the wrong way, but at least you can see the arch rock is an arch rock. And kind of the way that the cliffs are all kind of bending into the middle, it really focuses on the center of this image. So I, I think this works. It's simple, but still really beautiful. And getting some light on the clouds way over that way. But other than that, there's not really clouds in the sky, except for on the horizon where the sun's coming up. So not expecting light, but I don't really care. I'm in Portugal. Okay, let me talk about the setup of the shot really quick. I've got Jay, the three-legged thing tripod set up here on the cliff edge. Uh, I've got a three-stop hard grad ND on because the sky is very bright and the ground is very dark. And then I do have a polarizer on, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it. And I always get asked about polarizers. When do I need to use a polarizer? When should I use a polarizer? And the answer, honestly, is whenever you feel like it. It's really that simple. Sometimes you just gotta put on a polarizer and go, does this look better with a polarizer or without it? And it literally takes a couple seconds to test it out. So in every situation, just try it. If you think about it, just try it. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. You take both photos and whichever one you prefer, you use that one. It's not that complicated. And then over time, over your, your usage of polarizers and, and other equipment, you'll start to just know what's gonna work. So I do have a polarizer on, but I haven't decided if I'm gonna use it or not. I'm gonna show you the video clip of the polarizer basically turning on, just of me spinning the polarizer to show you the difference it makes. Essentially what it's doing is it's cutting out the reflection on the water so you can see right under it to the rocks below. And it does look cool, but so does the reflection. So we'll see which one I use in the end. And other than that, simple photo, four seconds, F11, and uh, just gonna wait to see if I get any light. Okay, sun is just on the horizon, so I'm gonna get this photo quick. Um, I actually have to zoom a little bit in because this is a great example of balance, actually. You have two really strong elements in this photo, the sun that's just rising and the arch. And so you kind of want them exactly opposite in the frame. So I've got the arch in the bottom third on the left and the sun in the top third on the right and it's two seconds, F16, and I do have the polarizer on, I've got touch shutter going, and...
So if you're new to the channel, I'm Brendan Fanson, and this is kind of what I do. Although I don't usually just move to a country. I travel, I take pictures. Yeah, somehow we've ended up moving to Portugal and this is going to be the base after nearly 11 years of nomadic travel, which is crazy. But that doesn't mean there's not gonna be travel on the channel. And I'm gonna talk about that in upcoming videos. There's still gonna be just as much travel really as there was before I, I had a base. It's just now that I'll now I'll have a beautiful base in between. So things should stay sort of the same. If you have been following the channel for a while, kind of the format of things for the next couple months is gonna be kind of like this. A little bit about life and maybe getting the new apartment organized to start the video and then a little bit of photography to end it or vice versa. So um, a little bit of life, a little bit of photography, a little bit of travel. That's just how this channel is, as you guys know. And uh, that's it for today's video. So I guess I'll see you guys on either Wednesday or Thursday with the next video from here in Portugal. I'll see you there. Peace.